Hi, uh, my name is Moti and I'm going to show you today how to add the contribution and volunteer apps to your Facebook uh, campaign page uh, so that uh, you can receive contributions and volunteer applications uh, directly at Facebook uh, if you need, of course, uh, volunteers. Um, what I'll do first is uh, show you how to create a page on Facebook and I'm doing that because uh, not everyone has created a page yet and uh, then I will go to uh, Tormin Org website and I'll show you how to add the apps um, if you already have a campaign page at Facebook uh, you can skip a little bit forward and watch the end of the video and see how we add the uh, uh, apps. Um, so anyway, we start over here uh, by going to the uh, Facebook page and uh, uh, Facebook account. Uh, click on the home link and then create down over here on create page and uh, uh, we recommend using uh, an organization uh, page and select the category of the cause um, you can also uh, call the campaign whatever you want I called it help uh, Gaza vicinity communities and I'm going to get started and uh, Facebook uh, will need uh, four pieces of information the about, uh, profile picture, and add to the favorites and preferred audience. I'm going to skip uh, the about uh, information. I'll show you later how to add it uh, directly in our website. I'm going to skip also the part about the uh, profile image. Um, you can uh, add those uh, pieces of information if you wanted to. Um, what uh, I'll show you later is uh, how we take the information from your campaign and add it. Um, I'm going to add it to my uh, favorites and I'm going to click next. And the last part is going to be um, selecting the audience for the page and basically what you're doing now is um, telling Facebook to who to show this page okay uh, you can select the audience by uh, age by interest by sex uh, by gender, that is, uh, and by interests, and by language. Um, I'm going to uh, put uh, over here uh, English, and I'm going to also add Hebrew. Um, I could uh, add more languages, Arabic, uh, Russian, whatever. And at this point, I will select the uh, save button, and Facebook will create the page for you. Uh, that's it. That's all you need to do at Facebook. Of course, the page is going to be created. There's not going to be a profile image. There's not going to be a cover image. And I'll show you later how to add all this stuff. Um, now we're heading into uh, Tormin.org website and we're going to log in. And over here you put your email, your password, and you log in. Uh, I want to show you that in my campaigns, I already created a campaign um, and I called it uh, uh, Help the Residents of Gaza vicinity communities um, and I entered the information already 
uh, in uh, this page. And what we do is we take the information over here from the teaser and the information you added over here and um, we uh, put it on Facebook for you. Um, also, um, it would be a good idea to add perks um, so that you can offer perks also on uh, Facebook. Um, so add all those things and at that point you can go to the uh, social networks uh, link over here. Uh, we let you add information about uh, four different uh, social media websites. Uh, I'm going to show you how to add the information for Facebook and as you can see when I click on that uh, Facebook lets me know that uh, Amita Tech, which is our application, uh, wants information about your profile, your friend list. I'm going to click uh, continue and then Facebook tells you that we also want to manage your pages and publish for you and you have to click OK or we won't be able to do anything for you. Um, at this point, uh, we go, we see what campaigns you have, we see that you have uh, help uh, the residents of Gaza vicinity community and uh, we'll give you the list of your pages and I'm going to select the page I just created and I'm going to select it and what we do right now is in the background we go and we gather the information <clears throat> about your account at Facebook and we add the page uh, to your uh, to your account over here. Um, the method that you will see over here um, if you don't have enough friends I have only 30 um, that's not enough you need a lot more friends that's really not an error, it's just a message that suggests that you would uh, join as many groups as you can uh, that match your cause. And uh, when you join the groups, uh, the people in the group uh, can become potential donors and contributors. Um, so um, you can uh, do that and see the list of groups uh, that we found that match your uh, category. Uh, next I'm going to click the update button over here for the Facebook page that uh, we added and as you can see uh, right away we go and take your uh, campaign image and modify it to fit the uh, 180 by 180 uh, requirement that Facebook has on the profile image and upload it to uh, Facebook. If you already have a profile image and a prof and a cover image, we don't do anything. Okay. Um, if you don't have a cover image, you can create now, right now. Um, you can create a gradient image, a gradient color, and on top of it put some images. Or uh, I'm going to show you how to add actually a banner that I created earlier. And uh, at this point, um, what would happen is that the image is uploaded over here but we did not send it yet to uh, Facebook. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit, a little small image over here too. Um, we calling uh, this image a side image. I'm going to take this image and I'm going to put it over here, drag it and maybe over here, uh, tilt it a little bit 
and I'm going to add something in Hebrew on top. Um, you can add two lines, and I'm going to write uh, in Hebrew uh, this sentence uh, is rule to show what this has up. And I'm going to um, select the bigger font, 48, and the color of the text I want it to be in white because everything is actually very dark. And there you go. Um, and now you have a cover image. This image has not been added yet at Facebook. Uh, to add it, you click the Save button, and what we do is we go and we generate this image um, from the images and the text you added, and we upload the image that uh, you created uh, into Facebook. Um, what you need to do uh, next is actually um, go over here and um, make sure that the text that we took from your campaign is actually correct. Uh, you can change it. This information has not been added to Facebook yet. And whatever you put in here is going to go into Facebook. Um, we take your uh, street address uh, and we take it in English, of course. Um, and we, uh, from it, we generate geocoding so that uh, Facebook knows exactly what your location. And you can add over here your email address. If you have uh, more email addresses, just separate them with the comma and over here if you have a website you can put the website information and this is the part for those of you that already have a page all you have to do down here is select those two boxes if that's what you want if you don't want the volunteer app just unselected um, I'm going to show you how to do it with the volunteers app in case you want it. Um, anyway, at this point you would click the update the Facebook page and that's all you need to do. Um, any further changes to your page um, we ask that you make uh, in Facebook. You don't come over here and try to make the changes. You could Okay, we don't stop you, but uh, we made a promise to Facebook that uh, only the initial effort is going to be in our website and everything else is going to be done at their website. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to go back over here to the uh, Facebook page that I created and I'm going to refresh it. It takes a little bit of time for Facebook. Uh, uh, it's mapped uh, very, very fast. Um, and you would see all the information that we added in the uh, uh, website is actually going to be shown over here. Uh, you see the image, uh, you see the logo, the, uh, uh, you would see the contribution uh, tab. And when uh, a contributor from Facebook finds your, uh, your page, uh, he will come to your page, click on the uh, Contribution tab, um, and um, he will see this. And what that means is that if he wants to contribute, he has to give us permission. So um, over here he clicks on the contribution uh, on the Facebook uh, uh, button 
and we tell him and Facebook tells him um, that we're asking for the public profile, email address, birthday, and current city. And if he clicks on continue, um, we uh, get the information and uh, we'll show him all your perks and also additional uh, gift. Um, the contributor will have to select the perk. Uh, if he wants more than one, he can select two. Uh, he will come over here and maybe add another 50 shekels contribution. Uh, by the way, if his uh, currency is actually uh, U.S. dollars, he will see all those numbers uh, in U.S. dollars instead of uh, uh, shekels. Um, anyway, um, at this point, uh, he is ready. He clicks the Contribute, and Facebook will get the information about his credit card, um, and will... Uh, collect the money. The money goes into uh, the Tormimnet uh, uh, bank account in uh, California and uh, the money will flow from there uh, back to Israel and we'll give you the money at the end of the campaign. Um, please note uh, something that I have to warn you right up front. Uh, Facebook gives uh, donors and contributors uh, the opportunity to change their mind about the contributions and um, they can uh, come back to Facebook and uh, uh, say uh, I want to cancel that contribution and then um, when we transfer you the money uh, we already uh, going to lose money so what we do, um, what we uh, ask you to do is that if you uh, want want us to uh, give you the money at the end of the campaign, you have to add uh, a payment uh, method in our website. Uh, it's going to be over here, uh, payment form and if you add the uh, payment form we transfer the money to you at the end of the campaign if not we have to wait uh, three months because Facebook gives uh, uh, their users three months uh, to change their mind uh, and we have to wait three months after the last uh, contribution that uh, was made uh, to you uh, and, and at the end of the campaign uh, you'll have to wait until uh, the grace period has uh, passed and uh, then we'll transfer the money to you. Uh, now I'm going to show you the volunteer app. Uh, if you uh, want to uh, have people volunteer to help you in your campaign. Um, they have to come over here, click the volunteers uh, tab, and over here give us permission. And over here we ask for public profile, email address, birthday, work history, education history, and current city. And if they click OK, we get all the information from Facebook and we send you an email about a volunteer application with a copy uh, of the email to your volunteer. Uh, that's it. That's all I uh, have to show. And uh, I wish you good luck. Thank you.